about the internet. I am Arcane3000, and this is my custom Lady Death figure. Um, I would, I know there's an official um, uh, figure figure for this character coming out soon, and I was super excited to getting getting it. However, then I found out it was like uh, like around 80 bucks, so I thought, forget it, forget it. I'm just gonna make my own for much much cheaper. Um. Let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, the main reason I wa wanted to have this character in my collection was because of, well, Lady Death. That kind of reminds me of Mistress Death from Marvel Comics, so that's kind of why, why I wanted this fit. Wanted this character. And, uh, actually, I did, I did want, did watch this little, um, uh, an this little animated movie about this character about Lady Death, and I thought it was pretty interest. I thought it was pretty cool, so, eh, eh, that gives me a, that's a pretty good, liking it is a good enough excuse to make, make this character, anyway, so, yeah. They don't really have much else to say, so let's get on to how I ma made this in my figure. Uh, the butt, the torso and legs are from a Monica Rambeau from the A-Force Ma. A for some odd pack. Um, these arms are from a mockingbird figure, which had, which had to go through some uh, modification modifications with some cutting and sanding just to make them look like um, uh, regular gloves instead of the armor armored with the glove cuff look that I originally had. Uh, the head is from a phoenix phoenix figure, and uh, the hands I have no I have no clue where those came came from. The sword is actually from a comic style Loki figure. It just kind of looked looked the most like my Lady Death sword from the comics and uh, the movie. So I just thought I went with it. The cape is scratch made. It was made of some uh, black fabric that I already had with some wire. I kind of got inspiration from a um, uh, uh, Zubby. That's it. Zub Zubby's tutorial on cape. Action figure capes. Uh, the cape's not really my best work, but it serves its purpose. And, uh... And now let's get some comparisons. Here she is next to a stain... Oh, wait. I forgot about this, the parts I sculpted. And uh, not much sculpt sculpting was involved on this uh, figure. The only things I sculpted were her chest to make it bigger. And, uh, the, the skull belt buckle that... Well... Maybe it's not a not really a belt buckle, but you get my idea. I sculpted this in a little skull thing. What I did was I drilled a hole into the into the waist and just stuck a piece of epoxy epoxy in and just sculpted the skull over it so that way it has an anchoring point so it'll stay on stay on. Okay, now for the comparisons. Here she is next to a standard six inch action figure. And here she is, next to Deadpool. Again, this is the, this was the first reason why I wanted to make this fi figure. Okay, that is about it. If you like this custom and this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you wish to see more content from me, and be sure to hit that bell icon to get notified for future videos. Thank you all for watching.